Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to carry on Garen here in season 14 with the best build and runes possible. He did just get buffed as well. His W now lasts for four seconds of 30% damage reduction instead of two at all ranks, which is pretty sick considering he maxes that last. We have phase rush, nimbus, celerity, water walking with conditioning overgrowth, attack damage, movement speed, and scaling HP. We could definitely leash here. Getting to lane early on Garen for the most part isn't that valuable because his first two levels are horrible. At level three, you can do short trades extremely efficiently with a auto QE, you phase rush away and you have W on the whole time, so you're taking reduced damage. But this early on, there's nothing we can really do. For the first couple levels, you're just looking to farm, get XP. Garen shines at level 6 and with his first full item, which we are going to be rushing down. <clears throat> Stride Breaker. Stride Breaker lets us hit phase rush really easily off of just a uh, QE. Stride Breaker. So it is going to be Stridebreaker Trinity. Everything after Stridebreaker and Trinity is entirely situational. Gwen's early game isn't that good either. She kind of has to scale too. Auto Q, run away. She's a big level 6 character and a big first item power spike character. But before that, she's also kind of trash. I guess you could kind of compare her to Trinimir because with how she has to build up her, her sewing stacks or whatever. Just like how Trindamere has to build up Rage, because if she doesn't have those built up, she doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. Boop. Just going for the QE. Yeah, we could just follow this all the way in. She doesn't have Flash. She's just dead. That's really easy to gank someone who doesn't have... Uh... This is coming to me too. I, I'll just reset. If someone just takes Ignite TP, it's good for all ins. It's good for just lane tempo, but all in all, it sets them up to die quite a bit. I want the Ruby Crystal. Super early stride breaker, very important. The wave's already coming to us, so I didn't mind backing. If she didn't, if she doesn't TP here, she's gonna miss so much. She had minion advantage, several more minions than I had. My minions were also lower, so I knew that they'd come to me naturally. I think she decided to hold on to her TP, maybe to avoid a Nunu repeat gank, but Nunu can always come back with scuttle crabs and whatnot. She doesn't have flash. She doesn't have boots either. We'll go ahead and do a... Wanted to QE. Missed my Q onto a minion. Burnt my W when she went to hit me. She's got the wave pushing into us pretty heavily now. She seems to be worried about a new new gank. She's not showing up yet. Okay, there she is. She's free. Alright, we'll go ahead and run her down. Get her with a QE, get my W on, then he gets the snare. I got my phase rush, one more auto does it. Nice, ah, that's huge, we just push now. So free man, these new ganks are great. In general though, don't expect kills on Garen pre-6, they're just not gonna happen unless the enemy dives you or unless your jungler ganks. Garen's damage pre-6 is incredibly predictable and uh, stagnant. It's your R that gives you the shock factor, the all in factor now that we're playing from the lead we can kind of do whatever we want but in general yeah you're just looking to take short trades whenever your all three of your abilities are up you can go in for a auto qe have w on when they go to hit you or you can go in for a qe w whenever they go to hit you but to proc the phase rush you do need three separate hits so if you are looking to actually proc your phase rush because you need it to get away like they got a nasus wither gangplank barrel blow up slow uh like an Irelia stun. If they have any kind of skill shot or slow, then yeah, you want phase rush to go off so you can mitigate the slow or just dodge the skill shot altogether. But Gwen doesn't actually have anything. She's a weird matchup where pre-6, she doesn't even have a slow at all. So here, I'll just walk into her auto QEW. Great trade for us. We kept it short. It's not as if we're going to all in or two death, but it's still one trade. We have high healing from our D shield and also from our passive as well, so... These short trades will overall build into a snowball lead. Beautiful. We can use our E's and auto reset. We can use our uh, Q's and auto reset as well when we're farming these minions. This is an awkward position to be in. Hit it with the QE. We have a bunch of bonus damage against monsters on our E. So it clears really, really fast. 
Or he also does shred armor. It's a big reason why Phase Rush has a much higher win rate than Conquer on Garen. Because if you can stay on top of them and get that 25% armor, 25% armor penetration, it's a big deal. It's for six seconds as well. Missed a couple of minions there. It's a risk to farming with spin instead of autos. She's only level five. It's like she's trying to slow the wave down or something. We'll go in for an auto QE. You see how we phase rush away? We take one turret shot. We mitigated it with W. She took way more damage than us, and we're fighting underneath her turret. She's dead here. New new comes. We can just dive it. I have my R, so. I'll ghost it. Away. QE. And the R. And I walk out. She can't survive. We got the Garen R. Obviously, if Nunu didn't come there, I wasn't going to use... I wasn't going to, like, true all-in die ride. Wait for my phase rush and for my W. Hit her with an auto QE. Have W on against her shot and phase rush away. Only take one to two her shots max. We got to leave. Try to minions. Looks like we get two plates here as a whole. That's really, really good. Falling super far behind. I'll go ahead and reset since we already got two clean plays. There's nothing left to stay for here. I could spend gold. I'm not going to be able to get anything else. I don't have R. Their comp's really tough, but as long as Nunu goes full tank, we're fine. I, I don't personally preach for full tank Nunu too often. Me personally, I prefer to play a more of an AP hybrid, but when his team completely lacks a proper front line, Squishy mid, squishy both bot laners, and a bruiser top. You might as well just play him full tank with uh, Sunfire Rush or Hall of Radiance, depending on which one you need against their team. They're triple physical, Irelia, MF, Rek'Sai, so it's Sunfire instead of Hall of Radiance. And then Nunu can even go for Unending Despair, which is another kind of armor item. Auto QE. There's the phase rush, got my W on. We kept the trade short, and we win it heavily. It's hard to out-trade the Garen... Uh, Shield on W plus the 4 seconds of 30% damage reduction. I think she's got a ward down. Yeah, Nunu's coming back. I like it. I'll go ahead and leave a control ward here. Ooh, wow. There's two of them. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, she doesn't know what to do. She can't solo me. She's, she's very easy to gank with no ghost. She was greedy and ran ignite. She's, I don't, you're not allowed to do that, buddy. Nice. We didn't miss a minion for it. Good with an auto E. I think she's actually just dead here. Auto Q. Auto R. And then we walk out. Not bad. <laughs> it took so many turn shots, too. Time to push. I could potentially just leave it frozen. I might, yeah, you know, let's go ahead and do that. I'll manipulate it a little bit more. The wave's in a weird spot. Auto Q, it's just these melees are too far forward. I don't think this is a true freeze anymore. Yeah, it's not a true freeze. The melees were just too far forward. Spin to win. We can back for Stride Breaker. It makes it to where we don't even have to set up a combo for Phase Rush with an auto attack or end it with an auto attack. We can just QE Stride Breaker or Stride Breaker QE. Stride Breaker has more range than our autos, so it can be a good tool to get to them because it slows them and speeds us up. It lost its ability he said it had from last season, but it's a self speed up now as well as a slow, not just a slow. Going to max our Q second here. Yeah, good luck to her, man. This is about to get really hard for her. <laughs> Stride break, QEW. Decent trade. I don't have R. If I, keep, if I can keep the trade short, it's, it's whatever. Uh, misfortune's coming. I'll run this way. Oh, there's a lot of the, these guys over here. I'm still on Ghost. I might need some help, though, depending on where Bran runs. Nope. I'm fast. 
That was making me really nervous. They just sent their whole team over here. And we're getting nothing because my support decided, you know what? What if I run at them 1v4 in darkness? Genius. Personally, I would have never been able to pull off that maneuver as well as she did. It was brilliant. It was really, really good. The best thing you can do as a laner when your lane roams, especially if you're really far away from it, just stay in lane and shove. You get turret plate for free, uncontested. Get the stride break. Didn't quite connect because she did that little shield maneuver. I think we can dive her, so we'll go ahead and just push. There's no reason to freeze when I can get plates or kill in our dive with my R. Nunu just needs to play around me and play around top side because our... From what I just saw from Senna, I don't think it's worth playing around bot lane at all. You get a pretty quick feel as a jungler of which lanes are receptive and which ones aren't. Now we can do an auto QEW, stride break. We literally take two shots and we're under there forever. We can heal it back through passive as well. Her wave's gone kind of flat, horizontal. It's gonna push into me now. You'll see my minion die way before hers. I'm gonna Q. There it is. I didn't have my stride breaker up, but it's up now with my next Q combo. It's hard to call a gear and Q a combo, but we can chain it into one. I think Bran might have warded when he was here. I'll tank it. Got W on. We gotta leave. This isn't gonna work. She ignited me. It made things tricky. Me soaking the true damage. They're probably gonna get dragon here. Which sucks, so... Don't know if there's a whole lot we can do. Probably just die for... We need Nunu to tank, though, with his R. So he just needs to go in. Alright, never mind. Take it back. Mm, that's annoying. Jade, she's using her crap on me. Her R hurts bad. It also heals her a lot, too, so... Makes it hard. All right, round five. Here we go. Let's see it. You need to tank first. Stride break, auto ER. Nunu die is definitely not worth. You just need to back off after you drew aggro. It's fine. We get turret. We, they're already going to get dragon as is, so that part doesn't really bother me at all. Gwen does at least lose more gold and XP. And that is bonus first turret gold, which is an extra 150. Not bad. I kind of want this scuttle crab. Their bot lane might... Yeah, they might all be coming over here. He might smite this. We'll see. Stride Breaker doesn't actually do damage, so I don't think it'd be worth to use it on Scuttle. They took away the damage aspect. They loaded it all into the self speed up to justify it. Against their team, we gotta go plated. It's kinda awkward versus Gwen. We'll go Executioners versus her, and now we'll start building for Trinity. Best part of Trinity for Garen really is the Sheen proc. If she stays for the turret here, I'll just teleport immediately. I don't wanna give that up. I'm not seeing her though. That was a really slow wave arrival. I'll go ahead and take that red buff, as long as Lux doesn't. I have Ghost, Stride Breaker, some Executioner, Heal Cut for the Gwen, Irelia, <clears throat> Rek'Sai, and eventually probably MF as well. Alright, I'm queuing in. I'll hit with Stride Break, Auto E, got W on. I don't have my R though, so that kind of sucks. We really couldn't kill Irelia there with seemingly our whole team hitting her. Gwen's being greedy. I have red buff. She's one full item. I'm tier 2 boots versus her. No tier 2s. I got heal cut as well. I should win this. Even with Riftmaker needing a nerf. We'll keep rock you in. W on. Stride break. She's got her R up again, which is really something. Yeah, she wins that. That's wild. She actually wins that. It's insane. There's nothing Nunu can do there. Rek'Sai ended up getting on me. Granted, I didn't use my R against her because it was on a cooldown, but even if I had, she still had enough health. I needed to retreat and go back in with more health back up. Nunu's in trouble here. He's got to clear the wave. 
Gotta press R. Save yourself! They're playing really heavy topside at the moment. At least I have TP. Oh, there's TP and shove wave. Might actually build it. Oh, never mind. No Herald. We got the wave pushed at least. Yeah, killing Gwen at this point, it's rough. I can still do it over time, but I can't raw all in her. She's just... She's strong enough in the meta right now. It's not going to work. Absolutely not. They're all missing. It's making me nervous. Making me really nervous. Hit it with the auto key and we'll run away. Possibly have something mid here. I don't really want to ghost for it. I feel like I have to. Go ahead and W that. Q. Stride break R. Down you go, buddy. I'm still on ghost, so good luck to Gwen. Yeah, she missed everything. Well played, buddy. MF's free here if Nunu can survive. Auto Q E. My stride breaks on cooldown. Oh, we don't win this. <laughs> oh no. Holy crap, that was scary. They don't I don't even have my R. And MF's kind of fed too. She's two full items. That was a while. Dragon's coming up in 20. We need to be alive for drag. Lux is going to a weird spot as our mid laner. Where is she going? See, she's hitting a really weird side angle. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even think we can win this drag fight now. But I don't have no clue what Lux is doing. She's not playing near her turret to clear minions and poke them off turret at all. She's just like hiding in bush. She's pretending like she's Nunu or something. Very strange Lux behavior. Oh, they're not even on dragon. That is bizarre. Oof. We need to honestly just get dragged here. I might even die still. Wild how much damage Brand's doing. We could try just sitting on the split and seeing how that goes. I'm healing up fast. They still haven't seemingly gone for dragon. I have my W and R. Go to stride break, QEW. Down she goes. Huh, this is strange. Gotta press R on her. Got the Gwen, probably not worth it. Nice little Seraphine flash. After Trinity Force, everything is hyper situational. We already have some heal cut. Black Cleaver wouldn't necessarily be bad, although they don't necessarily have armor yet, so it'd probably be Sterix here. Bam Dancer is also not bad. Our team's just kind of squishy, so I think Sterix is better. Get some tenacity. Holy crap, Brand's just straight up fighting at 1v2, almost won that. <laughs> Brand's a wild character, man. MF gets a double. Lux just seriously just defend turret. <laughs> like Lux go mid. There's a the only thing your character is good at is playing underneath turret. This is your time to shine. It's like having a Zerath just constantly roaming or hiding in bushes. How could you? Hard to kill the mid. Maybe Nunu can hit it. Oh, almost. Keep your stride break. I don't have my R. Who is this? It's Irelia. Auto Q. 
kite towards the back of her thing. I think she overcommitted there pretty hard. I time out the brand R. That was a solid fight. They overcommitted so hard though. Baron's a good option here. We get them to overcommit for it. We will have to turn. Epic monsters do cancel healing. Oh, Nunu used Q on Scuttle Crab there. Got Luck Shield and Seraphine Shield. Nunu needs to tank. He does true damage with Q. We're going to take this in time. We're definitely going to lose mid turret. Baron 300 gold apiece. Should be worth it. Plus bonus stats. This Baron should chain into next dragon as well. Alright, I'll ghost this guy down. Oh, jeez. I'm dead. Rek'Sai goes in. If teammates are chasing somebody. Maybe they'll get her. I don't know. Probably not worth in the end. <laughs> One kill to three, I guess it, gold wise, it still might be worth if we didn't lose huge, a huge shutdown. Lux got a shutdown, MF got a little shutdown. So I guess it, gold wise, it's worth. We just need to stay with backline, no chase. Our backline's too squishy to where if Nunu and Lux chase, Lux being immobile, Nunu being low damage, it's just not good. We gotta play backline heavy. Seraphine center. Our, our whole team's slow. Even Garen is somewhat slow, at least in short distances. I'll let her get that turret. My TP, if I TP to turret, she just break it. TP be full cooldown. If I TP to minion, she takes turret and walks away. She's two full items. This is where Gwen gets kind of scary. Wait, she's really burning R here. Auto Q. She's kind of missing a lot. She still gets me. She missed a lot of her R's. We're two full item and partial. She's really just two full item. We have tier two boot advantage, which granted she isn't doing mainly physical damage, but still with executioners. It's crazy. She did ignite. 261 on ignite does 310 so she still had about 70 more damage for the ignite to do so it wasn't that close to me living i would have needed 80 more health or 71 more health i guess technically not that much because we do have health regeneration so probably closer to 50 or 60 more hp total i have tp for drag I got TP, just need someone to go in. Alright, here we go. Big Seraphine R. Got her Stride Breaker. Big E. And she still almost gets a kill. Holy crap, Misfortune's doing so much damage. Wild. Oh, I rally is here if someone can help me over the wall. I want that plant. <laughs> she just took the plant away. That doesn't help them at all. She just didn't want me to get into the drag pit. Down you go, Rek'Sai. Just Q into R. Senna's dead here. Mm, this is awkward. We're gonna just focus on Irelia. She's dying to die quicker. Got a big EW on. Yeah, we chase Gwen down, I think. Missed stride break, or, or it landed, I can't tell. Yeah, that's big. Oh, MF's here, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, that's insane, Nunu still got it, that's insane. Misfortune messed up, <laughs> she needed not to touch the dragon. Holy moly, dude. She's her damage output's stupid. I'm gonna have to get dead man's or some kind of armor. She hurts. That was the drag soul for them. If they had gotten that drag, I think that was soul. No wonder they wanted it so badly. The new new frozen hearts a great pick. Gonna help a lot. I 
I have an awkward amount of gold. Moon Moon Plate should be good. Dead Man's will be good. Death's Dance would be good for sure. Their biggest threats they have on their team is if Gwen is in... Basically, if nobody hits Gwen and if she's in the thick of the fight, or just Misfortune in general because she's so fed. So it really is MF and then Gwen number two. Got him with the stride break. Press R on his head. Well played to Baran. Auto Q Gwen's over here. She's heel cutted. Rexize on my forehead. We need the shield from somebody here. Ooh, Misfortune got wrecked. I got a W on Steric. Stride break. Down she goes. Red buff burn finishes. That was so freaking good for us. We're going with the QE. She can't use the abilities. These fights are nasty dog fights. That Seraphine R was so big, it hit Misfortune, dragged her forward. I hit her with a single auto attack and it did dang near half her health. It was wild. It's the only way we can reach Misfortune, because when Misfortune stands still, who's supposed to hit her? When she has four people in front of her, no one can get to her other than Seraphine R. That's the only thing we have to touch her. I can get to this guy. I think we should just get the inhib though. Auto E auto. I want the Sheen proc. Yeah, just, just leave. This is a bad thing to stay for. Yeah, ideally, we take a buff on the way out if there is a buff. Because five buffs for us and them not getting one is a huge uh, power swing. But there may not be that. Oh, cool. So yeah, so instead of them having five blue buffs, also now we get five. It's... That's a 10 blue buff swing. It sounds so silly to say out loud. I never thought I'd say that in my life. Oh, dang. They ended up getting it there. They're converging. Yeah, we can't really fight there. Is that a brand skin? His Q looks so weird. I can go ahead and finish one of my items. I don't know what Lux is doing. She's not really defending mid. She's kind of just wandering around. I'm sitting on so much unspent gold. Oh, Noonie's going in. Yeah, I need to I need to reset so badly here. Okay, Senna hit something big. MF's low health. Lux misses R on a literal snare target. Oh my goodness. Snare target with vision. She lands everything else though, so we'll take it. Got phase rush on. I mean, we literally just take Baron here. There's nothing else we can do other than maybe force top turret. We don't have the mid minions. New new tanks. Does true damage. I shred off to the side with my bonus E damage against monsters. Got 340 attack damage. Our AD is pretty high right now. Three, 338. Scuttle's got 4,000 health. What the heck? All right, drag is coming up. It is their soul. We kind of have to be there. I'll let Nunu show first. Might be able to get a pick here. Would be dicey. Got a stride break. QE. I don't want to have to R. Yeah, we should take drag. We don't try to force an end. We can't. MF presses R shreds wave, whether it's uh, Baron minioned or not. So... Drag's the only thing we can do. Maybe kind of hold mid while we wait for it so they don't shove it down. If they're crazy, they're actually going to step up with MF and Brand probably to try to steal this. So just pull it out. Pull it out. I, I, I could definitely see MF or Brand trying to yoink this. They have plenty of damage to attempt it. They seriously didn't try. That was their soul. They did not even try. They're, they really don't want to risk it for the biscuit right now. This is big. Gets the knock up. Gets the snare. We can't follow it. Rex is so slippery. We need to take the red buff right now and go bot. There's nothing left for us mid. We already got the inhib. There's, no, there's literally nothing to fight for here. It's just a random fight. No pressure. 
Like, the pressure's already there. We're not applying any extra pressure, really, by being there. We already have the super minis crashing down. And now we have five red buffs. That's so freaking broken, dude. Like, two red buffs is a big deal, but we all have extra healing, a slow on autos, and true damage on autos. Santa range is starting to give Misfortune some fits. She can hit a big Q through the wave on the Misfortune to do about a third of her health. Alright, disengage. Disengage. QE stride break. Got W on. Drop the R on her head. <laughs> now she goes. Oh, I'm dead. That fight went horrible. I wasn't able to get out. Senna clutches it with the Seraphine. Rek'Sai R Senna. Eh. Not great. Gwen ended up doing most of the damage I took. You'd think it would have been Misfortune, but now it's two item Gwen. It'd be nice if they didn't get rid of Gargoyle Stone Plate. Nice. Knock up. Really is up in 10. They could probably take the inhibit if they really want to here. Seraphine wasn't out of mana. We can always come back for that later. Warmogs wouldn't be bad, but I think Dead Man's or Force of Nature is better. I'd rather have Dead Man since it is faster than uh, Force of Nature is. I don't feel like I really need the magic resist for right now. 50%. Reduction against the magic damage at the moment, and then we have nearly 70% against armor. Alright, we need to get this scuttle so Nunu can find something. It doesn't really matter where he takes it as long as it doesn't crash it in the wall, it should be a pick. Oh, nice. Ghosted, too. There's no way he can weave it in around. Yeah, he needs to take this wide through middle. I was thinking there's no way he can do that through Raptor Camp. Ah, oh, missed it. QEW. I'm going to press R on her head. Down goes Gwen. Go use the wall. She flashed. Got MF flash, at least. That's good. They need to get away from Misfortune, dude. Nice luck snare. That's so good. That's game. QEW. That's GG's. Even without the Nunu knockup, we still won that with Seraphine Senna scaling. Wild. Let's take a look at damage dealt. Damage taken and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did have the most in the game on Garen. Not bad at all. For second most damage, somehow Lux did the second most in the game. That is shocking to me. Misfortune was number three, Senna close up behind, and then everyone else was about the same. Nunu, in fact, did more damage than Rek'Sai, which is hilarious. I find that a lot of assassin-type junglers, especially physical assassin-type junglers, damage output at late game is horrible. It's really terrible. If you're playing full lethality Kha'Zix, full lethality Talon, or just kind of assassin-y Rek'Sai, late game, they're practically unplayable. It's really, really weak. They're, they're, they're super tempo based. You got to end on them early. Damage taken. Okay, with that being said, sure, there's Kha'Zix builds that are, work fine late game. That's fair. For damage taken, we did take the second most in the game behind Rek'Sai just because he was dying so much. Nunu was up there as well. And for self-mitigated, we took second most in the game behind Nunu. Not bad. For runes high value. All in all, Garen Top's in a really good spot right now. He can't trade effectively. Or he can't consistently trade to his advantage until level 3 for the W damage reduction. And then he can't typically get solo kills until 6. That being said, all in all, he's very solid. If you guys enjoyed this Garen top lane video, let me know what champion you'd like to see next down in the comments below. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.